Hello, this is Dr. Gandhi. Welcome to my video on using the frequency function in Microsoft Excel. So oftentimes in counseling research, we have data in the format I have here on the right. We have an independent variable, in this case group, and group has two levels, control and treatment in this case. And then we have some sort of score. This could be a pretest or a post-test. So let's assume in this case this is a, a post-test. Let's say we're measuring participants on some type of achievement scale. And we want to determine the frequency that each score occurs in this score variable. And that requires a couple things. Uh, first, we have to form what are called bins. And then we have to use the frequency function in an array, which I'll show you how to do. So you can see I already have the bins and the frequency function here. So this tells you that the value 82, and this is up to 82, that's how this is interpreted. So in this case, I happen to know that the lowest score in this range is 80. So this is the value 80, 81, and 82. Those three values occur two times, and the value 83 and 84 occurs three times, and so on. So that's how you read uh, this table. Looking at bins, you have to consider it's up to this value. So first I'll show you how I created these. So over here, so I'll start in column G here. So the value 82 entered and the value 84 and simply autofill that. That'll give you the bins as I have them over here. And for the formula, it's fairly straightforward, but it is an array, so you need to highlight the entire area before you start typing. So it would be uh, H2 through H11 here in this case. And then uh, equal sign and frequency. And then the data array, which would be B2 all the way to the end here, which is B41, and then comma, and the bins array should be here. And then before leaving this function, before exiting the function bar, uh, click Control Shift Enter to enter this as an array. Control Shift Enter. And you can see it has the same values as were produced over here. So I used um, 82 to start and then 84. But you could enter any values in here that are inside your score range. For example, maybe you want more precision in this analysis. So you might start with uh, 80 because you know it's a low value and then go to 81, so this would be every possible value in that variable if we auto-filled it out to 100. And then you would use frequency the same way. First you'd highlight the entire region for frequency. It would be enter, frequency, and then the same data array And then for the bins array, of course, would be the new set of bins that you created. And then, contr and then control, shift, enter to enter as an array. So you can see looking at this more detailed breakdown of the frequencies that some values aren't represented at all. So we know that looking at this first one, that 80, 81, or 82 appears two times, but when we're looking at the more detailed breakdown, we can see 80 appears once and 81 appears once, 82 does not appear at all. And similarly, you could make it a more basic frequency table. You could start with the value 84 and go to 88 and then autofill this out to 100. So you can see now I have five bins. So you want to select five cells to put the frequency function.
function in. And of course the data array is the same. And the bins array is the new shorter version. And then control shift enter. Now it's often useful to look at frequency tables like this in the form of a histogram. And that's relatively easy to do in Excel. You would highlight uh, the frequency and go to the Insert tab and then select a uh, column chart like this. And if you want the bins to appear along the x-axis here, you would simply select uh, the x-axis and right-click and select Select Data and just edit uh, the horizontal axis labels and then put the range that the where the bins are uh, located and there you have it so you can see now you have a frequency distribution uh, or histogram and this represents the same information just graphically so you can see the a value of 89 or 90 appeared seven times, which of course is consistent with the table. And to clean this up, you might want to delete, delete the frequency uh, label on the side there, since you already have that up top. And of course, from this position with the new uh, chart, you have a lot of different options in terms of uh, 3D in color. So here's 3D in uh, orange. Go with a uh, black background. So you have all the same options really convenient feature to move from the data that you had over here to the bins and the frequency and then right to a histogram. I hope you found this video on the frequency function in Microsoft Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.